Hey guys, this is Joey. I am coming to you from my bed in my dormitory because I'm gonna do another what's in my bag video. So uh, in an effort to save time, let's get right into this. This bag that I'm showing you today is a bag that I got at Urban Outfitters. It is, um, I'm not really into leather because of kind of um, moral reasons. I try not to buy leather, but and so I think this is pleather, but it looks very nice, and I like that. And kind of the the colors, the green here, the um, blue, and this burgundy remind me of, of kind of like hunting colors, which is weird, again, kind of ironic with my uh, moral thing about leather. But still, when I saw this bag, I, I looked at it and I said, I have to have it, and I got it. And the other thing is, and I've mentioned this, I think I mentioned this the last one, but I love the way it zips, and that to me says a lot about it. So, this is my Urban Outfitters bag, and I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that's in it. The first thing that I'm finding right here on the top, actually, is this wallet, which I got myself as a Christmas present. Oh man, that's, that's so, like, pompous, right? No. I needed to get myself something nice, and the last wallet, I don't know if you saw in the last video, but it was kind of a cheap little plastic thing, and I said, I need to get a nice wallet. So I got this. It's a Juicy Couture wallet that has that fun little locket thing on the outside, and, you know, I keep my most important information in there. Um, I keep my money, things like that. My uh, Smart Trip card, where is it? Right here which is the way that I get on the DC, DC Metro system. I keep that in there as well. I can just kind of put my wallet near the little machine thing and it gets me on. So that is an important thing to have and I always have it handy. And I like this wallet because when I go out, which I do go out clubbing every once in a while, this is a great wallet to have with me because it kind of just fits in my hand and that's, that's something that is important to me. All right. The next thing I'll show you is this, which is just your average ordinary umbrella. I got this at H&M. Of course, I have my iPhone, the new iPhone with Verizon, and I have this handy little case that actually comes off. The case is in two parts. This part comes off, and it acts as not only a scratch protecting case, which is this one here, but it also has this to protect it from breaking. So I really do like this case. This is, I, I would recommend it. It was sold by... Incipio is what it's called, according to this, or Incipio, I don't know how it's pronounced, and I like The that. next thing is my sunglass case, and I have, at this time, my Roberto Cavalli sunglasses that I adore, but I have to be careful to keep them in the case, because I don't know if you've experienced this, but when I get a case, I never put the sunglasses in the case, and I end up breaking my sunglasses. So I have the case for that reason. The next thing is this, um, what is it called? Bath and Body Works, I think is the name of the store that I got this fragrance at. And this is a uh, lotion. It's a summer scented lotion. It's vanilla and lemon. And it just is one of the best smelling lotions that I own. And I absolutely love it. In fact, I would put some on now because... Again, smelling smelling nice is important, I think, because it's kind of one of the first ways people meet you is, hello, if they smell you, and if, if you don't smell good, then you're not going <laughs> to make a very good impression. Moving right along. As a student, I'm always reading some sort of literature or philosophical whatever, and right now we're reading Democracy in America by Tocqueville, and this is... This is, this is a substantial and a meaningful read, and I'm enjoying reading it. Um, I don't know why I have this in there. This is, I got at, this is a necklace that I got at H&M, and it's a little claw holding a gold ball. I keep this as kind of a piece of clubbing jewelry because it's flashy and nice and fun. But let me tell you, I don't know if, if anybody, especially the females that go clubbing out there, have experienced this, but when, when you have a long necklace and you're dancing, it tends to hit you over and over again so that I have to end up putting it in my shirt to keep it from smacking into the people that I'm dancing the with. The last thing that I'm going to share with you from my bag today is something that is a little bit less useful and a, and a bit more meaningful to me. And the, the things that I'm going to show you come out of this little bag that I keep within my bag. Hello, a bag within a bag. The first is this turquoise crystal that a friend, here I'll show you. It's very pretty. It's a half of a crystal that a friend of mine shared with me. 
And she has the other half. And then the last thing, a friend gave me this. I think she bought it um, in Mexico, which is one of my favorite artists is Frida Kahlo. And this is a little kind of a pin with Frida Kahlo's picture on it. It it's, has that on the back. And it's not, you know, this is like a beer uh, lid, beer cap, bottle cap. And it's, so it's not exactly the most expensive thing on the planet, but my friend thought of me brought it to me, she gave it to me as a gift, and I'm absolutely um, in love with this little little trinket, so I keep it. I with want me. you guys to go, and if you enjoyed what you saw in this one, to not only subscribe to my channel, hello, I would love to have more subscriptions, but also, if you're interested in these types of videos, make one yourself, because we all, as a community, love to see and, and get a kind of a glimpse into each other's lives, and so if you do have an interest, I'd love to see what you have in your bag, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you for your support so much. Bye-bye.